Hi guys, how's it going today? Um, you might have seen this image in another video. This is from my wedding day, and it's a great example of um, an image that we need to extend the side over here. Um, this was not my photographer that took this picture. This was a friend of mine, and after our wedding, I was like, hey, meet me in the park, because I really wanted photos with azaleas. So she um, met us over there. I handed her my camera. I said, you know, it's set. We're going to stand out here, take the photo. So um, it was a little bit off center. No worries, because I can fix that in Photoshop. So if we were going to crop this 8 by 10, oops, there we go. If we got us centered, we lose our hands. And I really don't want to lose our hands. So what we're going to do is before we crop, we're going to add some, well, actually, we're going to crop and add some space right over here. So I hit my crop tool. And I'm going to get us centered how I want us. There we go. I think that worked. Maybe right there. And hit enter. Okay, so now we need to fill up this space here. Super easy, guys. We're just going to take this whole area that we have. We're going to say control C, control V. And then I'm going to hit the V button again without control to pick up my move tool and drag this over here. Now I've overlapped this, the image. I did not drag this right here and make that line because I want to be able to erase and edit and kind of tweak it how I want it. I'm also being sure that these bushes are at an angle. So we want to scoot that down just a little bit. We can hit control T to stretch it and fill up the um, tree up there a little bit more. I just hit enter to get rid of that. I'm going to hit the E button on the keyboard to erase, or I could go over here and select my eraser. And I'm at 36% uh, eraser. And I'm, whoopsie, I'm gonna actually go up to about 49, and I'm just gonna erase this hard line. And so I'm getting over here a little bit too much. See that appearing? I'm going to actually hit the V key again and move this over a lot more so I have more space to work. Let's start over. I hit the E key. Let's start erasing. There we go. Find his shoulder. Find the bottom of his jacket. Control Z, Control Z, because I hit that line right there. I got that, and I don't want that, so I hit Control Z. I'm raising my opacity a little bit more. We're at 69%. I'm going to leave that. That'll just give me something more to show you. There we go. I'm just erasing. And we might need to work with the tree a little bit with some clone stamping just to make it look natural. I can control plus to zoom in. I'm using my hand, the palm of my hand on the space bar to zoom around. I can see, oops, I can see a little bit of a line right there. I'm going to make sure I get this jacket. That's good. I see that. We're going to fix it. Make sure that there's nothing there. And then I can use my layer toggle just to kind of see what we've done and see if we're looking natural. I'm good with this for now. So, well, let me just look and see. Maybe we can just like, I don't know, though. I think it's fine. Splitting hairs here. Okay, no problem. So F8 to flatten. So now what F8 does is it merges this layer with this layer. You can do that with my actions here. You can do that with layer flatten image. Or um, since I have a keyboard shortcut, F8 to flatten. And then let's fix. We're going to actually use our magic wand. And we're going to select the bottom of his jacket because I don't want to mess this up. So control C, control V. Now that's just a little layer. And so I can work on the background layer and his jacket is not going to disappear. So it's just um, kind of keeping it safe because I want to fix this curb. Alt click. I'm using my clone stamp um, keyboard shortcut S or I clicked over here. Alt click. There we go. And because I have that jacket layer there, I can kind of work in here and I'm not going to erase the jacket. 
which is super nice. Alt click. There we go. Fix that part. Alt click. Come up. Fix there. There we go. So if we did not have the jacket layer, I would have cut in there. So we have it. So that's fabulous. Let's fix that. It doesn't quite look right. Alt click and just zoom, zoom. Alt click and just fix that right there. There we go. That's perfect. Um, I feel like I saw a line right in here. We can use our clone stamp at a reduced opacity just to sort of blend anything we might see. I'm okay with how this tree looks up here. I'm just sort of looking at everything, making sure we don't have a line. Maybe that's a line. And there we go. I am happy with that, guys. Maybe it's still a little off center. We can recrop just a hair. Hit enter. And that's how you extend the side of an image when you run out of space. Um, if you have any questions, send them over to me at Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com or leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye, guys.